Mm, we'll be going after the per pulse weapon, but uh, I read something. We still have these these crap here. Uh, I'll take the weapon repair kits, thank you. Well, anyway, uh, I'll try to sleep. I I'm not sure if that changes the changes the sleep thing, but it seems like I I'm not the only one having problems with hardcore hardcore needs and the sleep. It's from at least from what I read, it has something to do with the DLCs. So it's not exactly unexpected. I I'm not too really. I, I don't care too much about it. And the reason is because it's sleep. It's the one thing that you really ne almost never have to do at all, and it will be just fine. I might have to sleep in a deal. Yeah, it's working now. So, from what I gather, it might work in in this way. Uh, either one of two ways. When you start a DLC, it's disabled. Because it, it, it might be a bug, or because it, it is basically the DLCs weren't in, always made with the basic needs in mind. So it might be very hard to keep them up. Although I, I find that a sort of a ridiculous reasoning. Because the entire point of a hardcore mode is to have trouble with managing them at sub times. If you don't have trouble with them or have to suffer for it at least a little bit, it is like pointless now, isn't it? Might as well not have it. So but usually if it gets stuck like that, you can just leave and it'll start. So if I notice anything getting stuck like that and just Spend an hour in the bed and it'll, it'll, it'll restart the counter again. Due to current events, Staff Sergeant Daniels is hereby authorized to transport item number blah blah blah, codename Circuit Breaker, to the installation known as Vault 34 to be sealed in its armory for safekeeping until the manufacturer can retrieve the prototype post production. Uh, it's the uh, 100 a very difficult box in that. Radiation built hellhole. <sighs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Do we have a skill magazine of luck picking? No, we don't. We need a skill magazine of luck picking, otherwise, we can't do shit. Well, it was a great thing that we missed because we didn't have luck picking. This is why I'm sort of. Uh, I, I'd like to get lock picking for a natural hundred because I haven't seen the skill magazines all that often. I guess we'll just have to go shop on a shopping spree now. Do you have a? Never mind. 
Gun shop should not be a good place to find them. Yeah? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Ten to five Miller grenade APV. What is this? What the fuck is this? It's not a grenade machine gun, it's a totally different thing. <laughs> okay. This is useless. Bye. Yeah, Crimson Caravan is probably our best bet to quickly gain access to it without major side tracking. Time is it? It's evening. Evening. Keep an eye out for wildlife. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to do that. Hey there. You looking? Yeah. What? Okay, McCarran needs a regular shipment of Brahmin me and spices for the missile. Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. The bigger issue is payment. To supply the camp with meat will cause some serious caps. Uh, he's in Sierra. Can you keep them a deal? This is business. I really can't cut him a deal on the cost. What's the problem? They have vegetables. Trade them for that. We don't need vegetables. And besides, they spoil. The meat you can dry and turn into jerky. No. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, just let me know when you want it. Can do. I, I don't want to make promises. I have no idea if I can keep them. Um. Grenade machine gun. As long as you have a grenade launcher, you have no use for a grenade rifle or a grenade machine gun. You should probably pick one of those. Grenade machine gun might be the best one overall. Just because the difference in single earth ammunition is not all that amazing and the rate of fire and clip size is vastly superior on the grenade machine gun. So as far as actual DPS is concerned it's, uh, it's the best choice. Also the distance isn't all that different at least from a grenade launcher. Probably not as long as the grenade rifle with the extended range thing. Long barrel. Hmm. Well, I'm looking for something. Yeah, the skill books. Yeah, there's nothing here. Lot of crap. Uh, we need a quick way to make some money. Uh, I don't want to sell you the ammunition. See? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to... Is there a reloading bench somewhere here? 
is a workbench, so surely there's a reloading bench too. I'd like to dismantle the ammunition and save the parts. You can do some good from them. Mm hmm. Crap. Ah, so gun runners, I guess it is. How the hell are we gonna get the skill in the window? I think our best best bet is not actually to go in shops like this. There, in front of houses, there's usually a mailbox, and there's a good chance to find random magazines in them. That might be the best way to best way to get it. Welcome, sir or madam. Show me what you've got. of interest. Uh, there's not gonna be a skill magazine here. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Missile launcher guidance system. Increases spread. Is there a spread in missile launcher? I haven't noticed. Might well buy that. Why do we were so goddamn cool? A missile launcher mod got a system. You have to have a lot of miss crap or something. You don't have all that much though. Duct tape. Yeah, we have quite a few. Probably have a lot of food to do then. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Okay, we need to get that magazine somehow. How the hell are we going to get the magazine? Core junctions. We're going to have to do a side tracking thing here. Um, uh, classic inspiration. License Steep, Sunset Source of Barilla. So we're lacking two targets. Yeah, we might as well go to Prim. Good way to potentially get some magazine. We could probably we have a quite a lot of signs, so we could do the sherry sherry pieces too. 
Uh, I'm not sure what I would want to do. The options influence what can happen in the town in the later. None of them are terrible options. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Oh, salt in the wounds, Mr. Johnson. Salt in the wounds. Hmm. What do you have for sale? His first. Luck pick something something. Yeah, he has it. Does not have it. Hmm. Yeah, we have to we have to choose between an NCR and the prison. Frankly, I don't see why I would side with the prisoners. Well, I can think of one reason, but prisoners have no influence anywhere else but the prison, and it basically has nothing to offer us at this point. So, ah. <sighs> Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, bye. What I want is There's some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Massacre on the race, ranger station. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. We could reprogram him to the sheriff. To, uh, I think that this is the Dallas option. The two proper option is to get the sheriff from the prison. It, it's a solid choice. Or get the NCR to accept Brim, take control of it. Both are just fine options. I think it affects. This is a big if though. The, the selection of goods you can buy from this town later on, and how happy the people are. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mows you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Scan your data registry. You've been hacked. Well look at that. I happened across this data file locked away in an isolated subsystem. Okay. Happy trails, partner. Happy trails indeed. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. Where the hell am I going? You seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Have you seen that tower? Yeah, you haven't been telling me about that. Prim Slim's corrupted memory block. Okay. Start speech to text logging. Mail. Is it still in there? Yep, it's still here, Sam. Well, hot damn! Let's grab it and go. Howdy, partners. Welcome to Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Can you shut that thing up, Pauline? Sure thing, honey. You grab the gun and we'll get going. Please do not touch the exhibits. I almost got it. I'll wipe the memory file as well. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to stick this bad boy in my safe until we're ready. Alright, once I'm done with this memory block, we'll head back to west side until we're ready to go. My god. There are a few houses here with mailboxes. Uh, we certainly looted them earlier, but... They might have respawned. Well, there's still certainly a motivation to try to increase our lock picking skill even further. The problem really is that uh, I'm not all that keen on investing it heavily in it. This is a very exceptional situation we're in. Salesman Weekly. No jackpot this time. Salesman Weekly. Teddy Bear. 
I think. Um, we need to go there for the final picture. So while we're there, we might as go past Good Springs. Good Springs had uh, quite a lot of mailboxes too. And this general store, of course. I, I don't think it has them, but we might as well check it out. It's like a minute of our time. You looking to buy some supplies? Candy. No. Take it easy now. Take it easy like easy be. A Braxo cleaner. Naturally, naturally. I think I'll do this. I'm basically icing the baseline for now. And we'll try to keep an eye out on the box reader. And when one we the moment we'll find one we'll reactivate the quest line and do it immediately. I I don't want to spend a lot of time going hu magazine hunting. I don't find it uh, as a very useful, useful use for our time. There's uh, enough downtime just by exploring and wandering about normally. You don't have to add to that. So we're doing the classical inspiration quest. We need to go to the Sunset Star Superula um, factory and take a... Victor is no longer... Our robot's artificial intelligence is offline. Uh, we need to go to the Sunset Star Superula factory, which should be very close to Camp Her There's also should be fiends in the area. The one good thing about fiends is that they do provide decent loot when killed. Yeah, I don't want to take pictures of them, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna use a grenade launcher just for when we can use up some of our ammunition. El Rey Motel. You a person or a I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. Over here. Holy crap. That's enough of that. <laughs> That's enough of that indeed. We were casual wear. Very schematic. Star ball cap. Yep. Totally a worthwhile place to visit. Okay, what do you have? Someone beat us to him. You can call a victory.
Mm, few decent crafting items, and that's it. Are you okay? This girl, scorpions, girl. Yeah, I'm impressed, Veronica. Stop glaring at me. Girl. Yeah, he's hurt. Probably under You're the. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yes, I am. Suit you. That's the best armor we've found so far, so you can keep that. She should be okay by the time we reach our next fight. Yeah, we don't want to go through there. The bottle there, where you can see at the distance, that's our target. I don't want to go through there because it's a fiend area. I don't mind fighting with the fiends, but I don't want to go through their main head headquarter or main fortress. Main defended area. It's just a lot of pointless fighting. And we have 2% of our weight free, so it's not like we can even do heavy looting. It's just a waste of our everyone's time. We might have to be somewhat more selective with what weapons we're going to use. I think I'll maybe go for the grenade machine gun at some point. That means abandoning the grenade launcher. At least. We might have to make a choice between a missile launcher, a grenade launcher and a grenade machine gun. We simply don't have the weight capability to carry everything, especially if you add the mini nukes into the, into the mix. Although we might do something different, abandon basically the the launcher for the mini nukes and use the mini nuke mines, but it's just it's not the same, and I rather have the mini nukes than missiles or grenade launchers. It's some sort of weapon that's hard to replace with anything else. It's when you really need to kill the shit and and you use mini nukes. I'm exploring these for wanting to find the star of our cats. We're going to drink all of these. We're trying to get the bottle caps from them. Uh, 
this minor chance that we'll get minor chance that we'll get the starball cap normal Pretty much normal, I think we just got normals. So, now that's at least one quest line completed. Yep, no, no. Pleased to meet you. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are, and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. And you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoe. Say, I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say, silly old advisory. Silly old advisory. I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? While Sunset Sarsaparilla is perfectly safe, a recent independent study, whose validity is currently being challenged, revealed the following. Excessive ingestion of sarsaparilla can lead to deleterious effects, including, but not limited to, kidney damage, nausea, digital numbness, anxiety, loss of visual acuity, dizziness, Occasional nosebleeds, joint inflammation, tooth decay, sore throat, bronchitis, organ rupture, and halitosis. Note that you'd have to drink a heap of sunset sarsaparilla to match the quantities used in the study. <laughs> How much, you ask? A lot. A whole hell of a lot. In fact, you'd have to get full as a tick on Sunset Sarsaparilla to even come close. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, partner, and keep drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the... If you... Star Info.
Return to Festus with enough suns to charge the Blood Star caps to earn a prize. Howdy, partner! Um, uh, I'll your sunset stars of Perla stars in the slot. It looks like you got a fair number of stars in your saddlebags. You're still a few cards short of a hand, though. And so it doesn't give us the exact number we need. We have 30, we are not even close. Mm, we are leaving. I I'd like to try with something. I feel lucky. How do I play? Lucky Horseshoes is played with cards number 2 through 10 and aces, which have a value of 1. You and old Festus will take turns drawing cards. Each time we draw a card, we add it to our total, trying to hit the magic number of 21. So black if either of us draws a card that brings our total up to the same number as the other, it pushes the other player's total up 1. When this happens, it's called Lucky Horseshoes. Old Festus thought of the name himself, I'll have you know. They can't be draws. When one of us is closer to 21, and the other can't get any closer, either by going over or because he or she held, the closer player wins. Old Festus likes the game because there are no ties in Lucky Horseshoes. If someone's sitting pretty on 21, Lady Luck can still bump them off. But enough jawing. By now, you're as eager as I am to get tossing. Alright, let's play, partner. Press the blue. No, I thought this was a guard game. Shit. I mean, with an actual interface like the caravan. Looks like you got a four, partner. Oh, this is terrible. But old Festus ain't out of this. Oh, looks like I got a. See that? Old Festus, you're. I can't even see my total. This is this is shit. Looks like you. Lucky horseshoes. You just know. Oh, we have five. He lost. See that? Old Festus is an old hand at this. Your turn, partner. Looks like you've got a nine, partner. Yeah, looks like you win, partner. Old Festus just couldn't match those keen skills of yours. Here's your reward. If you'd like to play again, say, play again. Uh, I think you might be able to, if you play this enough, you might be able to win a batch of the star bottle caps or just, you know, normal bottle caps, I, I don't know. I'm certainly not gonna play the game with a shitty interface like that, it's, it's, it's just painful to play. Classic Inspiration. Okay, let's wrap this up at least. Well, hotel should be closer. So, what's our exceedingly great reward for doing this shit? Hello.
Uh, while we're here, we might as well visit the uh, Lucky 38. Drop some of our crap there to get at least a little bit of extra room. Team grenade. Yeah, I'm not doing team grenades anymore. Aha! The brave photographer returns. Good to see you. I have some fresh pictures for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. I took all the pictures. You have earned it, my friend. Now I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Yeah, street reputation and money. Yeah, that's good enough. I think we did it for the reputation at the start anyway, so... That's just fine. Something just to get over with. Hockey 38. We have to do some kind of an equipment dump because we're now at the position where we can't get anything new. So, and I didn't notice us having a huge amount of totally useless crap. So, where to, partner? We simply have to make some, I guess, tougher choices between what to bring and what to dump. Yeah, we ha have nothing real extra. Uh, I'm dumping the pistol for now. The better pistol. We have two of the other kind, so... It's going to have to be enough for now. Braxo. What do I have? Coffee? Well, it, it weighs basically nothing, so that doesn't matter, really. Uh, we might as well dump the camera for this film, too, but not here. It's more of a weapon ammunition combat knife. When have we last used this? Uh, yeah, and I forgot we even had the regulator. So we need to dump some of this crap. Yeah, go there. Okay. Empty soda bottles. Euclid Sea Finder weights so one and a half. Well, it's a fairly weighty weapon. Especially if we can just use it like once now and then it really isn't a great deal mm. uh, I don't really see much use for the grenades if we can do the cluster thing it, the, the weight is basically the same but with the cluster you get six grenades anyway it's a much more weight efficient way to carry these because um, you could just throw the cluster and then pick up the grenades if you need them so you wouldn't have to have a lot of tons of grenades only about six and if, if you need more you just throw a cluster at the ground we have this ah oh, we have 25 missiles, way too much. The weight is 40, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 5 high missiles, way 10. So, yeah. Missiles are the biggest problem at the moment, definitely. Nothing else comes even close. Hmm. 
Purified water 18. Mm. Yeah, I'll dump some of the purified water too. I'm not gonna use all that myself for it either. No use for tin cans. Turpentine. And is that it? That is pretty much it. What do you need for the Mm, microfusion cluster, you need duct tape and scrap electronic. Okay. We're not gonna do that now. Just gonna dump some of the extra ammunition here. Do we need extra weapon dump? Yes, we, yes, we do. We need the 12.7mm pistol, so we might as well dump the ammunition at, at the same time. And we need to dump the whatever it was, the compliance regulator and the combat knife. Maybe not the knife. Um, the reason is if we if you really need to slash some body parts away, it's much better to have uh, some kind of a weapon. Ammunition, we need to get rid of mines. So will mean frag mines. Yeah. And the plasma mines. We need to shoot these goddamn missiles. Uh, I'm not gonna leave them here. Just use the bastards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I mean, we still don't have an armor for you. What the hell have I been doing with my time? Ah. I think we'll share a bit for a moment. Okay, we went from 98 to 77%, so it, it's a huge increase. And we can probably decrease it quite a bit fairly easily. Yeah, by eating. Okay. We need to do some proper quests again. We can't go after the stars. This is not a quest you can go after. We can't go there. We can't really. Ooh, still in the dark. Track down. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Who the hell are these groups? One is this Repcon headquarters. Where the Ranger Morales is called to sue. I have no idea what the fudge that is. It's very close to Hidden Valley. You know what Nelly's Air Force Base is though? That might be something doable, sweet. and it wouldn't take a lot of time to do it. Casino floor. On the negative side, it probably won't help us find a skill magazine now, will it? Where the hell are they here? They must be in the... Artillery firing area. There. Huh. Mission tape. These are rifle. Oh, 
power armor. Can you use the power armor? You should be able to use it. You're making me carry the heavy stuff. Yes, aren't you? I am. That <laughs> looks terrible on you. Uh. Absolutely terrible. Next. Well, the Ripcon headquarters might be a proper thing. Especially since they have Morales Corp is there, so that would mean there's traps and a sniper and god knows what. We can take that when we're going to Hidden Valley anyway. Hey there, need anything? I need a luck picking magazine. Sure, here's what I've got. We've covered a luck picking magazine. You ain't got shit. Uh, we had something to settle. Why did I didn't I leave these behind? Uh, we have a laser rifle. Not worth much, but okay. That building is where we need to go, and there was a NCR position somewhere here we needed to go talk to first. So they're gonna get a rundown on what the hell the situation there is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up! Where do you think you're going? I'm going to take this basket of cakes to my grandmother's house. All right, smartass, I get it. You don't answer to us. But get this straight. You will get eaten alive if you go up that way. And that's not a figure of speech, either. Bunch of sick, messed up junkies control the road up there. Got a thing for desecrating corpses. You've been warned. Yeah, I'm actually supposed to be getting a body out of there. Christina hired you, huh? Well, if you're gonna go up there, there's a couple things you should know. Esteban's body's in the middle of those buildings up the hill there. Look carefully and you can see the fiends patrolling the rooftops. But they laid traps, too. There's mines all over. So for God's sakes, watch your feet. Get him back here. We'll get him home. Nice dude. At least we can do. Wish we could help more. Uh, I'm worried about her again. Yeah, the glove looks terrible on that armor. If I don't look at in her there, I don't look at her. I don't why I won't know notice such things. Money. Anything else? That's it. Ah, pretty pathetic. Okay, those are the fiends patrolling the rooftops. Uh, 
and they're definitely firing at something. This is a terrible angle to shoot this terrible weapon. Uh, I'm worried about the sidekick running into the trap field. I'm terrified of that. Could get to the Repcon offices without any trouble, that's for sure. Well, we could do that thing then. Quickly just get in, get the brother who track down the brother who targets there and get the log. This is access terminal unlocked. Hmm. Uh, disengage lock. Not there, terminal. Repcon security terminal at user facial data database. Facial data added for first floor access. A inter office correspondence. Hello again, everyone. Those of you who in the main building may be curious about the men doing all the work in your offices and hallways. They are installing some enhanced security measures. These measures are in place for your safety as well as the safety and privacy of your Refcon family. Along with the hardware and software security changes, each of you will also receive a personnel packet with an identification badge. It is very important that you wear your badge at all times. Again, this is for everyone's protection. Oh, and everyone feel free to take a long weekend as soon as you have received your personal packet. Have a great holiday. Okay, hello everyone, my name is Carl Rook and I'm sure you can tell, as you can tell, I'm your new vice president. Until recently I was at Robco, working in their security division, but now your family and my family are one big family. We thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. Now, I'm going to do as much as I can not to interfere with your daily operations here. My principal concern is going to be security. I hear that you all have been adapting well to some new security procedures. Well, we've got some new kids to join your little family here. You'll see some friendly androids patrolling around the main building. As long as everyone remembers to wear their badges at all times and make sure they are properly registered with security, these friendly androids will stay out of your way, so as long as you all keep on on 
since you have been, everything will be just fine. But we need to watch fucking bad. Please remember that third floor access is for executives only. If you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us buzz on the phone and we'll send you John's daily password. A pass here somewhere. Need a pass complete. Another pass. We added ourselves to the database, but we need a pass of some kind. Like a fusion cells, tons of them. Yeah, I'm going to go and dump this. Sh Valid facial pattern detected. Yeah, apparently we don't need the security password yet. Why are there so many microfusion cells here? Ah, oh, crap. I'm not gonna drink ant nectar. A little bit of steak and we should get more strength out of that. Okay, log big very hard. Terminal very hard. Yeah. Unauthorized facial pattern. Second floor access restricted to registered employees. Who intelligence? 4F, 76, 65, 72, 72, 69, 64, 65, 20, 33, 32. Override accepted. Nikola Tesla and you, so energy weapons. Need to get rid of it, it's totally useless to us. Well, maybe not, if the... If the rangefinder we used requires energy weapons. I mean, energy weapon determines the damage is done. This does. Add facial data to the database. Okay, I've made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending progress message messages to a secure offsite server somewhere. Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon, but I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. Okay, Mr. Rook, for the last couple of weeks I've seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain that it isn't the D a DOD approved method. I fear that these messages may be a sign of someone sending insider information. Yeah, Miss Wang. Please continue your inves investigation into the messages and keep me appraised on any progress you make. In the meantime, please keep this information private. I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed. Please call me Carl. Hey, hello. I will need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off of this terminal, as well as reformatting it with my personal information. Thank you. I'll go. Okay. 
we should be okay on this floor too, you know. But we didn't come here to fully explore this. We came here to go after. Oh, you, mistress? Yeah, mistress, I like that. How may I serve you, mistress? No, that's not what we... Yeah, we need to go to the top floor. In order to get to the top floor, we need... Um, Executive pass. Well, we can get there, but it'll, we're gonna be running out of there soon, too. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. What the hell am I gonna turn into an executive pass? Second floor security card. We don't really need security cards here. Our terminal. Station! Good. Lighty. Not good enough. Executive security badge. I'm sad to inform you that after many years of loyal service, Leonard Steeple has stepped down from his position at Repcon. We wish him the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. For the time being, Julia Masters will be overseeing Leonard's departments. Department heads will be meeting with her later today. Thank you all for your time sincerely. Here's Isley, General Manager of Rep. Okay, now we should be able to go there. Sorry, Bullcat. How may I serve you, Mistress? Get out of my way so we can get in and out quickly here. Of course, of course. A little lower than this. Hold tape, train, there. Yeah, our weight is way too much. It's fine. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? No, I'm going to repair your power armor. So it doesn't suck so badly. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Fudge. Sorry, no idea. Incorrect. Security alert. 
You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Run. Valid facial pattern detected. Okay, we're getting the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. How may I serve you, mistress? This is a very interesting place, so we'll, we'll be coming back here. We need to get rid of out of time and wait again. Valid facial pattern detected. So we would we would have probably need to sleep there anyway. Way, way too much food to carry carry out of here. There's only one side remaining though. Yeah, no, don't use the full damage. Come on. Mm, it should be fairly close here. Ah, again. Okay, let's move it. I mean, it should be right here. That's something like five minutes tops. Nice storm, though. I can't see all that much. Does it affect aiming? I, I don't think so. Okay, what are you? Get the hell out of my way, I don't have time to waste on you. A very localized storm. Oh! Someone turned on the lights. Some hostiles here. So not radiation, it's a goddamn crater. Yeah, and they're in the middle of the crater. Where the hell were you? Were you in the crater? Shit, where the hell is those going to be? You okay? Yes, you are. <sighs> yeah, I I'm not seeing them uh, at all on the compass. Doing fine. They cause radiation poisoning anyway, so. Be okay. So there's more of them here. Get that out. Turn on your burn up. Uh, 
I think she's there. <sighs> hmm. Hello, Dark Rock. Baseball and Turpentine. Well, that's a uh, bit fine. Well, at least we get something done. Hmm. Yeah, the lockpick situation, it's not good enough. It's probably one of the rarest items I, I have, we have at the moment. Just nowhere to be found, really. The situation just can't last like this. Why the hell isn't the weight going down? We can't be stopping... well, usually the quests don't require a massive amount of lockpicking skills to complete, so I can't say that we can't leave it at that, because this is an exceptional case. But still, it's it's very unfortunate that I have to just stop doing a quest because I don't have like the, sk I like the skills for it. They're talking, I can't interrupt. Veronica, I hope... I brought you a present. We unlocked the secret of Helios 1. No! What? Wonderful news! No, it's not. Archimedes 2 is an orbital laser, effective only outdoors in a limited radius and requiring a long recharge. In the hands of the enemy. They'd be marginally more effective. We lost most of the chapter defending glorified artillery. We couldn't have known. We fought for what we believed in. And nearly died for it. Tomorrow, you do it all over again, having learned nothing. Are you trying to shame me? I'm trying to open your eyes. We need to engage the outside world. We can't win without new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of close-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. Okay, we need to cover most of the technology probably anyway, so that's fine. We get to keep the launcher. Because that's exactly what it is. It's an artillery strike. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? Yeah, here are the hall tapes. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Nipton, NCR Correctional Facility, Cap or Hope. <laughs> well, at least we have some the something decent to go after now. It doesn't require new skill upgrades, so at least there's something. <laughs>